maybe right now you are struggling to get set up with the Go Ahead Level website editor. In the beginning, it was the same for me. It's a little bit complicated. And when you first start building websites on high level, the websites look a little bit clunky, just not user friendly and cheap for a lack of better words. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a website that looks just like this. You see that it's not very appealing. It's kind of boring. It looks corporate, kind of hard to just explore. Just a lot of services I have to scroll up and down. If let's say I did want to get in touch with them, there is nowhere in the screen where I can do that right now and take it into something that looks like this, that you see, it looks a lot more professional. It looks a lot more engaging. There's a lot of things that are cool about this website and I'll break them down in just a sec, but at a simple glance, it seems like it's very easy for a customer or a prospect to get in touch with them. I would just be very quickly be able to book a service here at any point, no matter if I scroll up or down the screen or give them a call right here. So let's say this company was running an offer. They have this here as well. So it's very, very like top of mind for the customer. Like, here's your offer, contact us, as opposed to something that looks kind of like this. If you're new, my name's Rico, and I run a go high level website agency. I help businesses that run on high level get better websites that get them more clients. So today, that's kind of what I'm going to do. So let's go back to high level. The first thing that I want you to take note of is that in the navigation bar right here, the call to action is not standing out from everything else. You see that there's different menu items and they get free quote here. It's kind of like the same size as everything else. Another problem that I see is that as I hover my mouse over the different menu items, they kind of turn white. So it's kind of hard to read, like not as intuitive. Again, these are small things that I see some Go High Level websites do wrong, which I think like if we were just to fix this, we can get a better user experience for the client and make sure that on your end, you get more bookings or more sales as well. So to fix this problem right now, I'm going to scroll all the way down here and where it says hover text color right now, it's white. So it's the same as the background. I want to make it so it'll be green to match the company's colors. It's kind of subtle, but you see now that it changes to the green. The next thing is to add the button. So let's just do that right now. I want to make it so that I have a dedicated button on the navigation bar so that it's easier not to be confused with any other pages. Let's say they're ready to buy, but because there's so many options right here, they start wandering around. And the next thing you know, they jump somewhere else and then don't book the service. So let's just go back here. And first we'll get rid of it right here. So we'll get rid of the free estimate menu item right here. And then what we'll do is we'll make it so that we'll add a new column and on that column we'll house the button. So let me just do that very quickly. I'll create a new section and I'll make it so that it's a full width section. I'll make it so that it is of two columns and you'll see why in just a sec. For the background color, I wanna make it so that it's white. Now I'm gonna take this menu item, move it to the left column right here. The next thing is to add a button right here. So instead of adding a new button from here, what I want to do is I want to make it so that all my buttons are consistent in terms of the styling. I'll click this one right here. I'll duplicate it so that it's already the right style, the right everything, and then drag it from here all the way up here. Okay, so that's looking a lot better already. What we'll do is move this like this. So now it's on the far right. Next thing that I want to do is I want to add this cool background image here just to make it more interactive, make the website look more beautiful. Coming back to the editor, I'll add a full width section. I'll add a one column row, and then I'll take this paragraph, drop it up the top. Of course, it's green and green, so it's hard to read. So I'll take this and then make it white right here. So for the padding, let me just do 140. And then here I will do 140 as well. I'll add the background image right here. So let me just click here, click this image right here. And you see that it's nice, but it's kind of hard to read. So we can bring down the opacity a little bit. We'll click on the image. We'll go down to background image opacity, and then we can select light fade, half fade, heavy fade. So let me just click half fade. Right now it's kind of green. I want to make it so that it will be more on the black side like this. Now it looks a lot better, easier to read. Maybe just even put it in light face so we see a little bit more of the house. I'll take this right here and then get rid of it. I want to get rid of this box right here. So you see that right now we kind of have this box, which in my opinion, it just doesn't look as clean as something like this. And we'll also change the font size to make sure it's a little bit more dynamic, more clean. First, I'll get rid of that 
background. So let's just do this right here. The reason why is we want to make sure the website is clean. It conveys that we are professional, that you know what you're doing and more likely to get more clients. The next thing is I'll take this right here and I'll make it so that it's big. Um, before I do that, actually, let me click here so I see what the font size is. So this is 45. I'll do this right here as well. 45. And you see that this one is all caps. I want to make sure that this one is all caps as well, just to keep it consistent. So we'll go to advanced. Then in the text transform will do uppercase. That's a cool trick that you can use to transform your text to uppercase, lowercase, and that type of stuff. Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of put this towards the side, take this, align it to the left, and then take this, align it to the left as well. Again, a lot of these changes that we make are small, but when we add all of them up, it makes sure that the website experience is a lot more cohesive. We're able to build trust and then convert those leads into clients. Next is the services section. Right now, we have a bunch of services like this, boring, not intuitive. And let's say I was indeed interested in a stamp removal service. Like I have to go elsewhere to book as opposed to this website right here. You see that, let's say I was interested in the stamp removal. I'm very easily able to give them a call, book my service online. And what's cool as well is as I hover over each of the different services, it's a lot more interactive. So it's able to direct the attention of the prospect into that specific service. To make this different services, let me show you very quickly how you can do it. So first is you'll take this column right here and then you will duplicate it. And then what you'll do is take this right here, paste it here, take this text here, paste it up there and then take this image. You can copy the link from here and then paste it here. Something that I do want to do is put the image first as well. So that's what I'm going to do for both of them. We'll go to advanced. We'll click for border. We'll do full border width. Right now you see that the border is kind of squared. It's not as smooth, kind of like too boxy. What we can do is if we play around with the border radius, maybe we can make it like 25, make it a little bit more smooth. And you see now that it's uh, more round, more friendly. So that's kind of like what we have right here. We can do the same for this one right here. So let me just show you very quickly what that would look like. So now you see that these ones are too close to each other. So what you can do is click on this one for margin, maybe give it 10 on each side. So that's what I'm going to do right now. 10 here and then 10 here and then do the same for this column right here. Let me show you how we can make it so that as we hover the mouse, the section changes color. So it's a lot more interactive. For this, we're going to use CSS. Let me go back to the website editor. And I have this Notion doc with all of my Go High Level web design resources. This has taken me quite a while to collect as I build websites for different clients. They want different things. I've put it all in one place. So what you can do is get a copy of this yourself. And if you're building websites on high level, take your websites to the next level and stand out from the competition for the fact right now that I need is this one right here. So I'll click it here and it's the how to make a section change color when you hover over it. So I will copy this piece of code and I'll go back here. I'll click on this custom CSS button and what I'll do is I will paste this right here. Our sections are already white, so I'm going to get rid of this right here. And then when we hover in, we will make it so that the background color changes to a nice shade of gray, maybe like D2, D2, D2 hex color. If we go back here, you see that there's different columns where we added that effect to or different like tiles where we added that effect to. In order to make this the easiest way is when we're creating this right here, we won't do it for a specific section to make it easy. It will create a custom CSS class and then that class assign it to each of the different tiles. Not that you care, just if you follow this step, it'll be very easy for you to do it as well. Delete this right here, do dot, and then you can give it any name that you want. So we'll do services styling one, and I'll copy this here and then paste it here as well. I'll hit save. What we need to do now is Click on that first column, go to advanced, scroll all the way to the bottom and where it says custom class, we will paste that here. We'll get rid of this dot right here, just without the dot, hit enter. And now you see that when I hover in and out, the animation happens. To this one, I haven't assigned that class yet. So you see that this one doesn't uh, hover over it. So what we can do is click on that one, go to advanced here, paste the code here again, and then you see that the effect works. So that is how we're able to create this different effects right here. What I could do now is duplicate this once and then one more time again, and now start changing different text to make sure that they match like this. So let me just do that and I'll show you the final result. I've done the first row right here. 
Now, the next thing that I'm going to change is this button right here. You see that it's not matching with the rest of the buttons. So again, we want to make sure that we're consistent, that it's on brand and that everything's cohesive. So for the background color, we'll change it back to that green that we're using for the rest of the website. So for now, let me hit save and then we'll preview what we have so far, see how far we have gotten. So you see that the website is looking a lot better already. We've done just a few tricks and it's already looking a lot better. You see that as we scroll down here, the different services are here. I forgot to add an image, but you get the idea. Next thing is that these images might be a bit too big. So here instead, just a little bit easier to see. So that's what I'm gonna do next, make them a little bit smaller. For the section right here, what I'll do is I'll make sure that the rows are not taking the entire width. Now, something cool that I wanna do is I wanna make these images a little bit more interactive. I wanna make it so that when I hover my mouse over them, they become just a little bit bigger, making a bit more interactive. So let me just do that very quickly. Now to do this, I'll go back to my Notion doc, and then I have this tutorial right here, how to make images bigger when you hover over them. So I'll click this right here. And now I will copy this code right here. Go back to the custom CSS and we'll do something similar where we won't just add it to one section, but we'll create like a custom class and then add it to the different images. So we'll just do dot image style one and we'll copy this, paste it here as well. And then basically what this is saying is that when we hover the mouse over that image, it will scale it, but in this case, 1.2, so 20%, let's just do 1.1. So it's just 10%, we'll hit save. And then what we'll do is click this image, go to advanced and then type image style one, we hit enter. Now what we'll do is preview it. So let me just go ahead and preview and show you what that looks like. I scroll all the way to the bottom and you see that as I hover my mouse, the image becomes bigger. So just making it a little bit more interactive. I'll do the same for all of them and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've done it for all of the different images. You see that as I hover my mouse over each of the images, they become bigger, making it a lot more interactive and a lot cooler, just more visually appealing. The next step is to fix this client reviews right here. You see that it's kind of boring. So this versus this, you notice that there's these lines right here to kind of make it like its own section. And we added this cool thing right here. Okay, so the first thing is we'll add the borders. So I'll click this right here go to advanced, copy the CSS selector, go to the custom CSS, scroll down, we'll paste it here. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to the Notion doc, go back and then click on this first one right here. We'll copy this piece of code as well and then go back here and we will paste it right here. And we need to change it so that we match the exact color of the website. So, and in this case, it's this one right here. We'll hit save. Now you see that we've added that line right there. So it makes it like its own section for the client reviews. In order to make this even better, what I'm gonna do is I'll click this right here and then I'll do image feature. And then you'll see why in just a sec. I'll copy her name right here, put it here, copy the testimonial, put it there. And then make sure that of course this is in brand with the website so it's that green right there now what we'll do is click here and then we will also add the testimonials image so let me just click that and then add this icon right here so you see the testimonials look a lot better they're not lined up so to do that we can click on the column go here and where it says content spacing click left then do the same for all of them right here so now you see that i've clicked the left for all of them and in this case, for the columns, left means top and then right would mean bottom. So you see they're lined up a lot more clean than what we had before, which was this right here. Now, there's a few more things that I would do to take this website a little bit better. I have a few videos which I kind of talk about the different things that I would do. So in this case, you see that there's this button that sticks no matter where you are on the website. And you also have this bar right here. I've covered those in different videos. So you can take a look at those videos. But for now, you saw that we only spent a few minutes and we took a website that looked very boring and we made it a lot better, a lot more interactive. So these are things that you can do if you have your Go High Level website right now looking like a little bit boring, you don't know where to start. Just making these few changes, making them a little bit more interactive, making sure that everything lines up. You have different font sizes, make sure that you have this uh, nice headers, things that you can do to make sure that your website looks a lot better. If you are a business owner that is building a website on high level, having trouble, or just need a website for your business, Click the link in the description. I would love to discuss with you, see what your needs are, see if I can help you. Or if you wanna get my Notion doc for a Go High Level web design, you can also click the link in the description. I have a bunch of tutorials, examples, the ones that I use in this video, in other videos, and it's currently what I use to make sure that my clients get websites that look better, stand out from the competition on Go High Level. With that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.